Hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. Well today, I'm camping down at Jefferson Lake Park in Rigby, Idaho. What am I doing here? Well, I've been here my last video I shot here. But I made a new friend. I want to introduce, introduce you to her. Sandy. And Sandy is lost. She come through my camp. I just called her mama on her cell phone. Left a message. And let's see if we can get Sandy home. She's a pretty lab. Golden lab. Sweet thing. Somebody loves you. Somebody loves you. Wondering where you're at. Yep. So, we'll hang on to her. Ooh, she can pull. She's stout. I bet she's over 100 pounds. And she's used to pulling. <laughs> All my dogs together don't weigh 30. My dogs are not happy. You like the other dogs? Mm-hmm. That's where Tucker's been peeing. All the dogs have been peeing. Yep. I better, I better not introduce you to them. If you're not friendly, I won't be able to get you off of them in time. Tucker is not happy. Man, I am not happy. Well, I knew you'd say that. There's a walking trail. It goes all the way around this park. Maybe she got away from her owner. Who knows? And there's some houses back over there. Maybe that's where she belongs to. But I think the best thing to do is hang on to her and keep calling the number on the tag. Ooh, you stout, Sandy. I'm glad I don't have to feed you. Can you talk? I don't think Sandy knows how to talk. Nobody taught you how to talk? She knew how to talk, she'd tell me where to take her to. But I am the only one. And she's pulling me. I am the only one in this park. $10 a night for tent site, 20 for full hookups. And it is manicured out here. It is so well taken care of. This is very much the pride of Rigby. Say there's some good trout fishing in that waters too, in those waters. There's also a river that runs close to here. I'm coming, Sandy. Don't pull me down. Don't pull me down. They got the porta potties locked. And I asked the guy, I said, why you got the porta potties locked? Well, we're gonna have them cleaned in the set. I said, just a hole in the ground. I might need it. I didn't tell him I had a porta potty. And there were only two campers here last night. Let me show you this pretty river right here. If you're coming through here on 20, headed to Yellowstone, y'all need to take a day and stay here. $10, yeah, that's a bit much. You get a lot for that here. So you get this walking trail. You know where you're at, don't you, Sandy? Look at this river. This water. I would like that to be your back door. Yeah, Sandy's wet. She, oh gosh. Oh, you can pull. They say this is an irrigation river. They say there's good fishing in here. A lot of trout. Brown trout. I'm going to call your mama again. I don't think I got enough, a rope strong enough to hold you. This lead's too short. Let me show you the, the poop buckets they got set up around the camp. So it's a five gallon bucket. 
for dog owners. And inside of here, there's a little hole. And it, ooh, stuck a little hole and it dispenses plastic bags out of there. Very simple. And they're, I don't know if it's about a mile, mile and a half all the way around this lake, but I bet there are a dozen of these. Got it all to myself. Yes, I did. Well, I just got in touch with the owner and I can hear a bunch of kids screaming and crying in the background. She said that her son took Sandy out to play and she got away from her, pulled the pole loose. <laughs> I can see that happening. But they said they have, uh, they, they live behind the park across that river I showed you and they're gonna come pick her up. Your mama's coming, darling. Your mama's coming. Good thing you had that tag. You got away from your human. <laughs> yeah, you just out here playing, having a good time. Yeah, yeah. We'll wait on your mama. We'll wait on your mama. So you got a bunch of you got a bunch of kids in your family. I bet they ride you like a horse. I bet <laughs> they ride you like a horse. Oh no. <laughs> I know your ways. I've got a dog. I know how these things work. So what do you do here when it snows? Do you get out and play in the snow? Do you like the snow? Somebody did, today told me to get up to eight foot deep here. You talking to me now? It gets down to low, minus 20 here. Uh-uh. If I was you, I'd run away too. Find a place somewhere warm to stay. I already feel the temperature drop. The sun's dropping down. Yeah, thought about introducing you to the wolf pack. But y'all might not get along. One snap from a big girl like you, you just snap them in two. <laughs> you would. Yeah. When I lived in Georgia, um, well, I built a house right beside my mom and daddy's. And uh, my neighbor was a meat cutter, butcher. One of the strongest men I've ever met in my life. He could carry two cows uh, dressed at one time. Throw the meat hooks around them, pick up two, I don't know what you call them. He could carry them. Incredible strength. Anyway. But, um, well, two, two half a cup. In, anyway. He had two chocolate labs. And talk about some well-fed dogs. Of course, he'd take the bones home and meat to them. They had to be 140 pounds if they weighed anything sweet and friendly when he wanted them to be i never saw their bad side on me but i didn't go in his yard either i couldn't i couldn't whoop his whoop him or his dogs <laughs> a lot of people are walking their dogs here gosh if i lived here i'd be out here all the time the part i shot a lot of video at a part like this close to my house I had to leave it dark and uh wasn't near this nice or near this taken care of. But it's what I had. If you don't know no better, you can be happy with what you got. I know better now. Your mama's coming. Your mama's coming, darling. So the reason I've stayed in town here so long was because uh, Walmart had my glasses doing a warranty claim on them. It said two weeks, we'll have them. Okay. I called today, it's been two weeks. So it'll be two weeks, two more weeks. I'm like, uh-uh. You told me that two weeks ago. She made some phone calls. She says, two more weeks. So I got one more thing in town I want to do. And then I'm going to either head west or I'm going to head south or southwest. I don't want to be in this cold. Well, here comes somebody. I bet it's your mama. Is that your truck? Do you know that truck? Here they come. Nope. Wrong people. Wrong truck. <laughs> You're a nut. You don't know me. You don't know me. You must trust me though, huh? Show me your belly. 
Show me your belly. It's too big. It's like mine. It's too big. I think here comes the owner here on a bicycle. <laughs> That's your baby? All right. There you go, boss. Didn't want her to get somebody to take her or her to get run over. Yeah. <laughs> She's a sweet dog. All right. <laughs> I'm pulling this dog. A happy ending. She, she runs pretty good beside that bicycle. Well, if they live that close, he could a kid come over on the bicycle. I guess she would have went home. I know that. It's always good. All my dogs are chipped. All my dogs are tagged. Because you never know. Now I'm going to be in the doghouse with my wolf pack smell like another dog I don't I don't really pet other dogs <laughs> for that reason knock knock I'm home man who was that other dog you didn't you didn't pet another dog daddy tell me you didn't daddy did you pet another dog I did, Martini. It was lost. I don't care it was lost. You ain't supposed to pet no other dog. Martini, you forgive me? I forgive you, Daddy. Thank you, baby. Day in the life, living on the road. In a van. By the lake. <laughs> Alright, I'm in this little video right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching my videos. We'll see you again soon. You guys take care. Bye-bye.